You've got to understand this. If you want your social media profile or the marketing of your business to succeed, you have to step out of your comfort zone. You have to learn how to tolerate discomfort. You have to learn how to sit with fear of embarrassment. You have to learn how to sit with fear of making a fool of yourself, fear of looking like a narcissist, fear of judgment, fear of all those things, fear of saying something wrong, fear of not being perfect. You have to learn how to tolerate that fear and step out of your comfort zone so that you can step forward and get your message out to the people who need to hear it. When you're speaking on social media, you're speaking to one person. And I can't say this often enough. Stop thinking about all the people. Think about the one person who's going to be helped today by your message. Now, it might be that you're promoting your mental health practice. It might be that you're a coffee shop owner. It might be that you're an accountant. I don't care what your business is. Honestly, I don't, because the issues are the same. The fears are the same. The world now lives in a social media online space. And if you're not part of it for your business, you're missing out big time. You're not getting your message out where it needs to be at the grassroots level. And do you know what? Nobody's interested in you being perfect. If I want an accountant, I'm looking for someone that I can get along with. Now, how can I tell if I can get along with you if you're not being real, if you're not being authentic, if you're not being yourself? How can I tell if you're the hairdresser I'm looking for, if you're trying to be all buttoned up and perfect? There's a really deliberate reason why I am doing this particular video on a Saturday night outside with background traffic noise, because I want it to not be perfect. I want you to understand that it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Perfection is not what anybody needs in their lives right now. We've moved past the perfection of Instagram, the perfection of Facebook. We've moved past that. We're now in a world of TikTok imperfection. And if you can't bring that game to your marketing of your business, you're leaving yourself behind. I want you to understand that I get it. I get the fear that you feel. I get the fear that is standing between where you wanna be and where you need to be, where you are now and where you wish you could get to. The fears are the same for all of us. I still have them too. Don't worry, I'm curious to know who's in those apartments there, wondering who this idiot is standing in the corner talking to herself. <laughs> we all have those fears, but we learn how to overcome them. We learn how to do the thing despite the fear of looking like an idiot, despite people in their cars driving past, seeing women. I actually have the street behind me and this in front of me is the corner of my balcony. I'm standing in the corner talking to myself. It doesn't matter. The point is I've had a bee in my bonnet all day about the skill that you need to learn, which is a, in psychology speak, we call it distress tolerance. Yeah, we do. It's the discomfort that you feel, the fear that you feel, the, in inverted commas, distress that you feel at making a fool of yourself, looking like a narcissist, being up yourself, all of those things that stop us from putting our faces on social media. Now, as a psychologist, it's my job when I'm treating people with these fears in their lives or inability to cope with stress and anxiety in their lives, it's my job to teach people how to sit with that discomfort and notice the sky not fall in, notice that they can tolerate it, notice that they can cope and notice that that fear passes. I want you to do the same thing, the exact same thing. Notice that you're gonna feel your worst before you press the record button. Once you're talking, once you're on a roll, all those fears have fallen away, you forget about that stuff. And guess what? If your first video sucks, so what? 
your second video might suck a bit less, your third a bit less than that. Before you know it, you've done half a dozen live streams and you're starting to get on a roll. So I want you thinking about how you can teach yourself to tolerate fear, anxiety, embarrassment, shame, nervousness, all of those feelings that make you human so that your community can hear the message that will help them move forward in their lives because that's why you're in business, right? You're there to help people. You might be helping them on with their day by making them the most kick-ass coffee they've ever had in their life or you might be helping them get on with their lives by having the best haircut they've ever had so they can step out the front door feeling proud of themselves or you might be teaching them a different language or you might be teaching them taekwondo whatever your business is you're in it because you love it and part of the reason you love it is because it's helping somebody and how can you help those people if they never know you exist. So, take a breath, ground yourself, stand in your bare feet on the lawn in front of your house if you need to, to feel really grounded, and just press record and talk. Tell us your story, tell us who you are, tell us what you're about, tell us the story behind your vision, tell us the story behind your business, tell us about why you love what you do and if you fluff your words it doesn't matter if you lose your train of thought it doesn't matter it's you being a human being and that's who we'll relate to not any ideal of perfectionism so your job and I can see there are three of you with me live your job is to get out there Get your face out there. Don't be embarrassed. Don't be ashamed. And if you do feel those feelings, do it anyway, because we do scary things, because we are brave and we're passionate about what we do. So put yourselves out there, tag me, so I know you've done it. And I'll cheer you on, I promise. Have a great weekend. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.